When I began collecting vintage cookie jars many years ago, I was surprised at how little information that was available to help other collectors make well-informed purchases. Even now, I'm not happy with the amount of information available for collectors today. Books are great sources for images of cookie jars, but there are so many pictures jammed into one book that there is usually only a couple of lines of info describing each jar. I want to change that. I'm going to give you basic information to help you evaluate a cookie jar to determine whether or not it is vintage or new. First, before making a purchase, check off the height and girth. Does it measure up? Then, study the surface of the jar. How is it made? Are all of the colors underneath a clear glaze, or are there colors on top of the glaze? If so, this was known as cold paint, and it can assist you in dating the jar or revealing its age. If some of the cold paint has been lost, it could be a sign of years of washing and being touched by hands. Most glazes are matte, meaning they were not glossy or shiny, as this was popular with art pottery at the time. Next, very carefully remove the lid and lift the jar. Brace yourself. It should be quite heavy. Old cookie jars were made during a time in American history when more was more. Jar makers did not skimp on the clay used to create their wares. They were meant to last a lifetime. If you think you could hold it with one hand, don't try it please. But lightweight is usually a hallmark of a new jar. Now that you have the lid removed, it's time to use your nose. That's right. I want you to smell the interior of the cookie jar. Vintage jars were used to hold homemade cookies. And during the early years of cookie jar production, the late 1930s through the 50s, cookies were made using lard and real butter. And the fats from these ingredients seeped into the jar causing them to have a unique odor or aroma over time. Remember, an old jar should smell old, even after washing. Now, evaluate the bottom of the cookie jar. Look for any noticeable or notable signatures, stamps, impressions, marks, or numbers. You will need to familiarize yourself with the company's early marks to determine if the name or the lack of a name on the underside of the jar is correct. This is where a good book will come in handy. Finally, examine the jar for damages. Hairline cracks, chips, and missing pieces can greatly reduce the value of a jar. Never pay a top price for a damaged cookie jar. You will be stuck with it for the rest of your life.